Welcome to Teach Me Animated Math. In this solve along video, you will learn how to do polynomial multiplication. Or more accurately, you will learn how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials and use them for different polynomial operations. So how do you do that? The most important thing to remember when multiplying polynomials is to first apply the distributive property. Each term in the first polynomial is multiplied by each term in the second polynomial. Next is to simplify and combine like terms. Take note that this step uses polynomial addition and subtraction. And in case you're not yet familiar with that, then I highly suggest that you click the I button because it is required for this solve along video. So yeah, polynomial multiplication ultimately involves knowing how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials. But of course, while it is nice to hear me say all these techniques for how to add, subtract, and multiply polynomials, I know for a fact that it is not enough. And as the great Bruce Lee said, Knowing is not enough. We must apply. Willing is not enough. We must do. To get a better understanding of what you really need to do, you must apply the steps I mentioned by doing polynomial multiplication yourself. Don't worry because it's actually pretty simple and I will show you how it is done in full detail. So, solve along with me to gain mastery of polynomial multiplication, addition, and subtraction. There will be a 3 second countdown before I start solving each problem. You can pause the video to solve it on your own first, and then continue playing the video to see if you're correct. Alright, let's start solving. As a warm-up, let's start with multiplying a monomial and a trinomial. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. They are guides to show you what the product of each term would look like. Take note that you must not skip this step as a beginner. I know from experience that it is boring to write, especially if you're just learning how to multiply polynomials. But this is exactly when you absolutely must do this step to avoid mistakes. Simplify the polynomial product and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is negative 12y raised to 5 plus 6y raised to 4 minus 18y cubed. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. Simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is 8x squared plus 2x minus 21. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. 
simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is 4w cubed minus 22w squared minus 10w plus 1. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. Simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is 3z cubed plus 6z squared minus 22z minus 4. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. Simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is 2x squared plus 3x minus 20. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. Simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is 8u raised to 4 plus 2u squared v squared minus 15 v raised to 4. Apply the distributive property when you multiply the polynomials. Expand the product. Each colored arrow is matched with an underline of the same color. Simplify the polynomial product by combining like terms and arrange them in standard form. And the final answer is y cubed minus 13y squared minus 42y minus 24. And that's it! I hope you learned a lot in the fourth video of our animated polynomial series. Polynomial multiplication is simple as long as you remember to apply the distributive property and combine like terms. In our next video, you will learn how to simplify polynomial special case products. These are useful shortcuts that will help you simplify polynomial expressions faster. It's a solve-along worksheet, so you'll have examples with step-by-step -step solutions that are very easy to follow. So be sure to subscribe to Teach Me Animated Math and don't miss out. See you next time!